To use this to make uh, two different kinds of charged objects, we need to use not two, but three different layers. And so let's go through it step by step. So the first thing you're going to do is make a base layer on the table. And you always want to start out with a fresh base layer. This thing's going to stay on the table. It's not going to come off. And then on top of that first layer, we're going to add two more layers. So here's the second piece of tape, and I'm going to make a tab on it again. And I'm going to put the tab on the other side now. Smooth that down nice with my finger so there's no wrinkles. And now I'm going to put a third layer of tape. Again, fold a little tab over. And we've got... I'm going to smooth that down, and now we have three layers of tape down like this. And we've got the base layer, and the second layer we're going to call that the bottom layer, and the top one we're going to call the top tape. So we're going to have the bottom tape and the top tape, which are the top two layers, and they're both sitting on that base layer. Um, when we take these things off, we need to identify which is which. So I'm going to label the one on top, T, to stand for the top layer, and the next one down, we're going to label that B, for the bottom layer. So once this is all smoothed down, the next step is you're going to grab the bottom layer, not the base layer, not the one all the way in the bottom, but the second layer, and you're going to rip off both top layers at the same time. So here, we now have the bottom and the top layer together, the top two layers of tape. And if I bring my hand close, notice that these two pieces of tape together are acting like a charged object. Before we go any further, we want to make this uh, act like an uncharged or neutral object. And there's two ways to do that. You can either find a piece of metal like a lab stand or your, if there's metal on your desk, you can take this and kind of like rub the, the smooth side, not the sticky side, rub the smooth side against the metal and then test it with your hand again. And you want to continue to do that until it doesn't get attracted to your hand. So you can see there's a little attraction the other way to do this is take the smooth side, and if you don't have a piece of metal, you can just rub it up against your upper lip. I know it looks kind of weird, but it works. Here's the last and final step. You're going to take, you're going to now separate these two. Okay, and once you've done that, you've now created actually two different types of charged objects.